Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant here, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you a transition called Exposure Blur from Red Giant Universe. Exposure Blur is a fairly simple transition, and much of what it does is outlined in the name itself. During the transition, which is a crossfade from one clip to the other, it does a variable blur as well as an exposure or brightness gain. Both the blur and brightness gain ease up and then ease back down during the course of the transition. And they peak at the exact halfway point of the transition. Now, let me remove this and just start from scratch so we know exactly how to work with this. I'm gonna to go to my effects and locate video transitions, universe transitions, exposure blur. I'll drop this right on my cut point between two clips and I'll play through it. I mentioned we have that halfway point and that is where the blur and the brightness gain max out their values. If I select this and go to our effect controls, we'll see that the exposure max is set to two. And this means that we have a doubling of the brightness at the maximum point. So we can turn this up or down depending on the type of effect you're going for, as well as the type of footage that you're working with. This incoming clip is pretty bright, so we don't need a lot of additional exposure to get this pretty hot as they blend together. Now, you can vary this effect by using different types of blur. We have both vertical and horizontal. Now, if we use them both together, that creates a Gaussian blur. But let's say I set this horizontal blur to 0.5, and I set the vertical blur to 4. And this will give a vertical blur effect. We could also switch this around maybe set this to one and set the horizontal to six and get a very drastic horizontal blur. Now let me reset this and go to the end scale parameter. What this does is define the ending scale or size of the outgoing A clip. In this case, this is the flower. Now what this will do if I set this end scale to say 50 is scale that A clip 50% during the transition. So basically it will scale up as the transition plays out. Because we've got that movement and motion there and it moves fast enough, we do have some multi-sampling and multi-sample level controls in here to have control over the cleanliness of that animation and the motion blur. Now, just above those multi-sampling controls, we have these color strength and tint controls. This allows us to tint the video during the transition. So if I want to warm this up a little bit, I can select maybe an orange color and bring this color strength up until I start to see that color making its way into the video. Or I could also cool it off. So that's Exposure Blur. It's a fairly simple plugin, but it is based on a technique that I use all the time in After Effects to get between two different clips. And just doing a little bit of a flash transition with some blurring in it, a little bit goes a long way. Speaking of After Effects, let's show how to use this in After Effects because After Effects isn't a very strong editor and therefore it doesn't have edits or transitions that we can actually use between clips. So how would you use this in After Effects? So what we have to do is apply this as an effect. So let's go to our effects and presets and type in exposure blur. So under universe transitions, exposure blur, and I'm going to apply this to one of the clips here. Let's just apply it to layer number one. In After Effects, we have to define what that B clip is. Again, we don't have an edit point. We just have a out point and an in point with two different layers. So I'm going to select the dancer with the flowers as the B clip and just turn it off. I'll actually drag this back so we get a little bit of overlap. So right now we have our settings parked at 50%. So this is our mix and we mix this from zero to 100 to create the transition. So I'll have to create some keyframes for that. So let's back this up a little bit, set a keyframe there, move it forward and advance that to 100%. And now we have our exposure blur transition happening between the two clips. Now, I have this out point here, uh, but I need to make sure to extend that so this will play out all the way. If by chance you happen to have not enough media to extend this out, you can actually trick After Effects by enabling time remapping. Just going to uh, layer time time remapping or use the quick key option command D, or control alt D in Windows. And you can turn on uh, time remapping and it will basically play this media out because it is 
uh, using that layer as the transition. So it kind of ignores the timer mapping and just extends the out point of the clip. And one more time, just to show you this in another host app, we can go over to Final Cut Pro, go to the Transitions browser, locate Universe Transitions, and we have Exposure Blur in here. We we'll just drop this on a cut point between two clips, and we'll see the exact same thing play out right here. So that is Exposure Blur from Red Giant Universe. I hope you enjoy it. My name's Harry Frank. Thank you so much for watching.